rainbow pledge. When Noah and his family came out of the ark, they acknowledged God by offering to him a sacrifice. And God pledged the rainbow as a sign that he would never again destroy mankind by a flood of waters. A rainbow was never seen before that time. For the reason given in the Bible, there had been no rain. Furthermore, the sun's rays did not directly strike the earth, but merely through the canopy, with much the same effect as that of a hothouse. Many changes were brought about by the removal of the canopy. Rain, floods, drought, thunderstorms, tornadoes, extremes of heat and cold. These things were impossible under the canopy. Noah's intoxication is accounted for along these lines. The juice of the grape had not previously fermented. Hence Noah could not have known of its intoxicating effect. With the collapse of the watery envelope came the extreme heat of the tropics and the extreme cold of the polar regions before the ocean currents modified them. The change must have been almost instantaneous. We have proof of this. In northern Siberia, an antelope was found embedded in ice. It had green grass in its stomach, which proved that its death occurred suddenly while it was feeding. Similarly, a mastodon was found embedded in ice with food between its teeth. Thus is demonstrated that the poles were once as equable as the temperate zone and that in a moment came such a change as could be brought about only by the breaking of the canopy. The great glaciers and heavy ice of the Arctic regions, formed thus suddenly, have existed for centuries. The water did not all congeal into ice, but like a tidal wave carried great glaciers and boulders across the North American continent and northwestern Europe, as scientists have clearly traced. They cut through hills with such force that they have left their mark for all time. Equatorial currents, the Gulf Stream and the Japan Stream have since thawed out much of the polar ice.